This video is sponsored by Tomorrow Biostasis. Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. The world of sci-fi is filled with examples where someone was frozen and then reanimated sometime in the future. But of course, that's just fiction, right? Oh yeah, I'm the one doing the video. You shouldn't be answering, sorry. It turns out that one day, this may be possible. Companies have even already frozen hundreds of people in the hopes that future science and medicine will be able to bring them back to life. And who could blame them? Who wouldn't want to live longer or experience what life is like in the future? Unless the future is bad. But I think the future should be good. Anyway, this practice is called cryogenic preservation, or cryopreservation. It's commonly performed on biological materials like semen, eggs, embryos, tissues, and organs to protect them from decay until it's time to implant them into a living body. But unlike cells and tissues, and the examples in science fiction, to legally cryopreserve someone, they must first be declared dead. Then, the cryopreservation company they signed up with can take them and begin the preservation process. This needs to begin as soon as possible, since the cells throughout the body will stop receiving oxygen and begin to die, and it's done by rapidly cooling the body. No, it's not done by throwing someone into a freezer, but through a process called vitrification. Unlike freezing, where liquid turns into the solid crystalline, during vitrification, liquid solidifies into a glass-like state without any ice formation that can damage tissues in the body. This is accomplished through a series of steps. After the initial cooling to slow down cellular death, the blood is replaced with cryoprotective agents that act like antifreeze, lowering the freezing point of water so ice doesn't form inside the body. Once the person is transported to a long-term care facility, they are cooled down even further to negative 196 degrees Celsius and placed in a vacuum-sealed tank filled with liquid nitrogen until it's time to revive them. The cost of cryopreservation and long-term storage is around $200,000, and can even get up to $400,000. However, this doesn't need to be paid the moment you sign up. There are life insurance plans that provide decades of coverage for only about $30 per month. There are still many unknowns about what the future will hold for people who are cryogenically preserved, such as how the vitrification, warming, and revival processes will affect their brains and bodies. As of now, no one has ever been revived after being cryogenically preserved. And even setting the bringing someone back from the dead aspect aside, the toxic cryoprotective agents and the ice crystals that could form during warming can greatly injure the body. So, in addition to reviving the dead, future scientists will have to thoroughly address these dangers as well before anyone can come back to life. While we are still a long way away from this, scientists are already identifying better and safer cryoprotective agents, and recent experiments have even found that roundworms can survive the cryopreservation and warming processes, grow into adults, and retain their long-term memory. So at the end of the day, what do you have to lose? You know, you're already gonna be dead, so. When I freeze, it's because something is wrong with the computer. And then the computer crashes. And then I enter the void. The void is so cold. It is not pleasant. So, would you want to do this? Would you want to be cryogenically preserved? Let me know in the comment section below why or why not. Huge shout out to Tomorrow Biostasis for sponsoring this video. If you are interested in learning more or signing up yourself, I highly recommend checking out their site. Okay, let's see what else is on. Coming up next, we have a 10-year-old boy who's somehow allowed to travel the world with an electric mouse. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you're notified every single time we upload a new video. And click the like button, because it really helps us out. Ooh, Triangle Bob is jumping off the high dive. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.